What is the future of protein? Some say it's to go back to nature, return to traditional methods of farming. But we can't feed growing populations like this. We just don't have the space. Others say it's to intensify livestock production, but that brings its own challenges from animal welfare to high environmental costs. And some say just leave out the animals and make protein from plants, but that's not to everyone's taste. Ultimately, it's all about inputs and outputs. The problem with protein is that to produce it, you mostly have to put too much in. For example, land for crops to feed animals, and you get too much out in the form of greenhouse gases and other pollution, or both. So to feed a hungry world, what is the future of protein? At 3F Bio, we believe the answer can be found in a combination of natural processes and clever technology. In fact, we found a unique way to produce protein so efficiently that you get more out than you put in. We work alongside biorefineries that produce biofuel and animal feed by unlocking the sugars in crops like wheat and maize or corn. The 3F Bio process takes a small proportion of these sugars and ferments them to grow protein from fungi, which is many times more efficient than growing protein using animals. What's different about our technology is that anything that's not converted into protein is fed back into the refinery in a zero-waste process. It's 20 times more resource efficient than beef production and more efficient than any form of animal protein. It has ultra-low carbon intensity and needs minimal land and water, even compared to protein-rich plants like soybeans. The end product, mycoprotein, has been enjoyed for years. It's a high-quality protein with a tiny environmental footprint. So the future of protein is not only healthy, it's also sustainable helping to secure the future for both people and planet.